Boom! We are back, season two of Dax on tour, and we're in Seattle, a new city to explore, a new city to get lost in. So before we start this vlog, I think maybe a good idea to just recap on everything that's happened in the last 26 months, and I'll try not to mention the C word too much. Coronavirus. So in March 2020, I was due to take my US visa interview down in London, the embassy closed, and it just didn't happen. So Miami got cancelled, Seattle got cancelled, everything else that was meant to happen in 2020 got cancelled, as it did for everyone else. What I decided to do with my time was start writing on an album so that's pretty much what I did for all of 2020 I wrote so much music and it definitely kept me motivated and gave me something to work towards when the gigs weren't coming in 2020 also saw the release of While We Wait which two years later it's still going strong in my sets now really happy with how that one went so after six months of planning and writing music I filmed a sunrise set in Tyne Mouth near Newcastle for the Dream State Artist series then finally after about 16 months I had my first gig in a long time and that involved a 10 day quarantine in Netherlands it was worth it. What was crazy about June 2021 was how it was still illegal to actually travel unless it was business related. And with the new Brexit laws in power, the border control, they didn't really know what to do with me when it arrived. But basically, they took my passport off me for an hour. And after questions and thinking, they let me through. Which is really strange when you think about it. Just Amsterdam. It's usually so easy to enter. But it's worth it. Playing at Panama for Luminosity. So good. After 16 months to play a gig in front of people in a nightclub, it was special. After this, it was time for pre Fields. and in October played at the massive Victoria Warehouse for wrong sold out 10th birthday party it was for sure one of the best gigs I've ever played then it was back to Amsterdam for ADE for the Gold Harbour Night at Melberg and then in November back to one of my favourite UK clubs the Ministry of Sound in London with the Gold Harbour crew and then in December 21 months later then I was due to take the interview I was finally able to go to the embassy and have my visa interview which got approved downside was visa started in 2020 so it would waste of two years and we got to apply one once again at the end of this year but it is what it is I'm here now which brings us to 2022 and this year has been a jam-packed year already January started with Groove Cruise Miami that was just <laughs> you know, that. and with everything being shut I just felt like I appreciated things way more so after 24 months two years of evading the coronavirus it finally caught me so I was stuck in Miami for 10 days but at least the food was good and the views were even better then in March it was in New York for the Cold Harbor Night, a very random warehouse in Brooklyn, it was an experience. Then I got to enjoy the amazing city of New York. I walked so much, I literally walked the distance of two marathons over three days. And is eating more burgers, not lying when I say it, I really did love that city, amazing place. Then in April I finally made my debut at Avalon in Los Angeles, something I've been waiting to do for years. I scheduled to do that in 2020 before coronavirus. At least I got to do it now and I am extremely grateful for everything that's come my way recently. It's, it's like living the dream and of course experience some of the local food for the tacos oh, and the burritos. I went to order tacos and they were all speaking in Spanish. Me no hablo español. It means I don't speak Spanish. But anyway, she was asking me something in Spanish and I accidentally ordered a burrito. So I had tacos and burrito and he wasn't complaining. So good. I would move to LA for the tacos. And so that brings me now to sunny Seattle. So it's just gone half past midnight in the UK now. And this morning, 3.30 start for the airport, which was extremely busy. It's bank called in the UK. Then it was like an hour flight to Amsterdam two hour wait and then nine hour flight to Seattle and then when they finally arrived there was a problem with the border control computers none of them were working they stood in queue that wasn't moved for close to two hours until the computer started working we eventually got through met at the airport by the promoter for tomorrow night with a burger in hand which is very much needed and very appreciative for that good morning from Seattle so trying to find somewhere to eat last night in a city that I don't really know it's difficult there's this like comic con festival going on this weekend here <laughs> Whole cities like took over by people in fancy dress, wearing all kinds of costumes. Pretty much every restaurant was packed. Couldn't get a seat because the restaurant was full of elves. <laughs> anyway, eventually found one place. I managed to get a seat at the bar, but apparently the laws in the US state that you've got to have ID sit at the bar, even for food. But last night they didn't accept the UK driving license, <sighs> so I had to go all the way back to the hotel to get the passport, <laughs> then go back to the restaurant just to get food. I was dying. <sighs> So this weekend in Seattle to play Aura tomorrow night with Helium on a Glass Heart Tour. You're not gonna find any leftovers here.
just come off the decks at Aura Seattle and back at the hotel I'm absolutely shattered such a good night tonight Hayley absolutely smashed it and the crowd was very open minded I played a lot of new music so flying home tomorrow get up in a few hours